Welcome back guys to another Magicka PvE build for the Blackwood chapter. This time with my Ice Cold Magicka Warden. I passed with a dual Inferno setup with Ceroria, Madasoro and the new mythic item Harpooner Spading Killed. After a couple of hours I managed to get almost 104k DPS. I have seen higher passes with the new raid set Baza Esmania, which you have to drain your Magicka almost to zero to gain more DPS. But I personally think that Barza is only useful for specific static boss fights, but not for the most PvE content out there. You can't overstrain your Magicka in a realistic PvE environment. Sometimes you have to shield yourself or recast skills more often if the boss pots around or something. That's why I prefer to showcase builds which are almost viable in every raid or dungeon out there. Now let's take a look on the rotation and the pass. It's similar to the Magicka neck rotation. You steam fissure every third skill, sometimes even after the fourth, depends on the timing. Then keep up your dots until the end. Use the cliff rays as spammable in between. Don't forget the light attacks of course. And the ultimate. You could also use a full dot rotation instead. Just swap cliff razor for the mystic orb. DPS wise probably the same, maybe even higher for static boss fights but sustain will be more difficult then. As pre-buff, start to summon your eternal guardian with channel acceleration. Swap back to barb trap, I use dressing room for that. Blue betty for sustain, cast deep fissure, then scalding rune, winter's revenge with unstable wall fire, recast deep fissure, then degeneration with fetch infection, Recast Deep Fissure again and use Cliff Razor spammable in between. And of course, don't forget to light attack in between every skill. And try to use the ultimate on cooldown. As you can see, nothing special, but if you have some questions, type it in the comment section below. Now, have fun with the pass. <laughs>
quick look on the build. 5 mana sorrow on the body for a lot of crit. You could use Medusa instead, but then on jewelry and on the front bar, because Medusa is a heavy armor set. So you could slot a shield for Barb Trap instead. On the legs, the new mythic item Harpooner's Raiding Kilt, which gives a ton of crit damage and crit rate. One Slime Core for extra crit. On jewelry, Zerora for Bloodthirsty with two Zero Daggers, with one Frost and one Poison Enchant. You can still use the Zero Inferno stuff here for range fights. It's almost the same DPS, don't worry guys. And on the back bar, like always, the Malsum Inferno with the Flame Damage Enchant. Against Undeaths or Daedras, use the Prismatic Glyph instead. And for AoE fights, the Berserker Glyph. Skills wise, nothing has changed. On the front bar, Degeneration, a dot. Deep Fissure which we cast every 3rd or 4th skill, Cliff Racer, our spammable, Fetcher Infection, another dot, which applies minor vulnerability, so extra 5% damage on the target, Inner Light for extra magicka, and the Eternal Guardian as ultimate, but you have to slot it on both bars. On the back bar, Winter's Revenge, a powerful dot, Unstable Wall of Fire, a must-have on every magicka class, Barb Trap for Minor Force, with Medusa, slot the shield here instead, Scalding Rune, another dot, and the Blue Betty for Sustain. If you don't have Sustain issues, like in optimized dungeons or raid groups, you could use a shield here, even with Mother Sorrow. Best race choice is of course Khajiit, followed by High Elf and Dunmore. As Wonderstone, the Thief for extra crit, as Buffwood Ghastly Eye Bowl. For more HP, use Arteum Pickled Fish Bowl. And for even more Max Magica, so more damage, the Green Max Magica Food. Quick look on the CPs. Only one change Master at Arms, the new blue CP, which increases our direct damage by 10%. The others are still the same with Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, and Deadly Aim. If you can't flank the enemy, use Taumaturge instead of Backstabber. Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, Slippery and Ironclad. For the new trial, I recommend to use Spirit Mastery to resurrect your mates even faster. That's it for the video. If you like my content, subscribe my channel, leave a like and a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Next build will be a Magicka Sorcerer one. Enjoy the Blackboard chapter until then. At least for the PC players, the console players have to be a little bit more patient. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!